All right, so I was thinking, you know what? Fuck theory. Let's go back. Let's go and start doing the blog shit because I'm bored of bullshit theory. So I am going to create the block structure. Now, this thing that I'm going to code is inspired on the blockchain course that we have here in Nomad Academy uh, because I think it's just a very easy way to see how cool it is to have TypeScript. And if you've taken the Bitcoin clone, and you take this one now, you will see how cool it is to be able to uh, see the types of the properties of the blocks, see the return types of the functions, and well, see a bunch of shit, all right? So we're gonna start with the class block, okay? And we're gonna declare the public variables first, and you know that the block has an index, all right? This is a string, I'm sorry, a number, you also know that the block has a hash. The hash is a string. Also, the block has a public hash, a previous hash, sorry. All right, and the previous hash is as well a string. Also, and all this is public, the block has data, and this we can be string, doesn't matter. And it has a timestamp, all right? So I'm gonna say timestamp. And this will be a number. All right, let's see. Public index number, hash string, previous hash string, data string, everything is all right. All right, now constructor. And this is the same bullshit as always. I'm just gonna try to see if I can copy paste this because I'm lazy. All right, and then I'm gonna replace all these ones with commas, yay. All right, so the constructor is a function and I'm gonna say this.index equals index, i.e. index, this.hash equals hash, this.previous hash equals previous hash, this.data equals data, of course. This is the boring part, I tell you timestamp timestamp from the function all right so we have our block structure okay and this is all good now let's create our first our first block so i'm going to say const genesis block and this is the type of block let me just close this thing and it's the type of block all right and equals to new block and we need the index first, zero. Then we need the hash and the hash, whatever. Okay, awesome. Then we need the previous hash, nothing, all right? And thankfully, because it's a string, this works. We also need the data, mm, hello. And now we, also, we need the timestamp, and the timestamp, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're done. Now, let's create uh, the blockchain, all right? Blockchain. And this is a type of a blockchain. But what is a blockchain? A blockchain is a succession of blocks. It's an array of blocks. So what we can do is do this, block, all right? And this means it's an array of blocks, all right? And I'm gonna put the first one, Genesis block. Now let's see if this works, console log, blockchain. And let's see, it's working. Look at my blockchain here, block, oh, let me give you some space. There we go. Block, index, I'm gonna put this high. Index, hash, previous hash, hello. All right, but only here, only with, without having the, the console log, you can see that this is so much beautiful and so much better than not knowing what blockchain is, all right? In this case, TypeScript is going to check that we only add a block to the blockchain, all right? So if I do something like blockchain that push stuff, all right, is not going to work because it says that it's not a block, all right? And this is awesome. Right on the on the Bitcoin clone, it was on TypeScript. I mean, uh, on JavaScript, it wasn't on TypeScript. And I don't know if you remember, but sometimes we could push stuff that we didn't want to push. All right. In this case, we cannot do that. So that's why this is cool. All right. 
this is the first part of creating a blockchain we're not going to go super deep on the blockchain theory i just want to show you how more beautiful it is to work with typescript when you have um like a lot of functions and a lot of types and classes and stuff like that all right see you on the next video bye bye